This is uh, my reactor core. I'm going to pop that inside my nuclear plant. Inside the model, I've put some reactive metal to simulate the zirconium. And if I add some acid, it will start producing hydrogen gas in much the same way. And I've recreated their problem. Now, already, that's getting dangerously high, which leaves me in a very similar position to the Japanese were. I've got to release the pressure in there, because the worst-case scenario is that... that reactor vessel bursts due to the pressure build-up inside it. The workers at Fukushima had avoided the worst-case scenario, the huge reactor core itself bursting under pressure and spraying superheated nuclear material out. But some of the gases they released into the chimney flowed back into the building and created a new danger. That gas I've vented off is hydrogen, and when that mixes with air and comes into contact with any kind of spark, you've got a potentially explosive situation. Dramatic and powerful as a hydrogen explosion is, it really is just rapidly burning gas. And it's reassuring to know that even with a horrendous natural disaster, there are enough control measures built into the plant that engineers could prevent excess pressure from bursting the actual reactor itself. And more importantly, the materials used in nuclear power mean that these places can never become nuclear bombs.